what exactly will you learn? Well, that's a fair question, I would say. But before we get started, let me just say that this presentation has been rated I for informational. So please remain in your seats at all times during the presentation. Let's get started by talking about workflow. Now, I'm a big believer in workflow. University study shows after two years that good workflow techniques can save you 20% of project development that is one day in five. Not too bad. We're going to talk about organizing our video projects, and we're going to be doing that through the Adobe Organizer. Now, think of what an Adobe Elements project is composed of. You've got videos, you've got stills probably, you've got audio, you've got text, you've got soundtracks, all kinds of stuff. And the organizer can really help us put it together. So we're going to take a good look at that. Next, we're going to get ready for prime time by starting with preferences. Now preferences can make the system go faster and they can make it look, the program itself, the way you want it to look. So it's aesthetics and it's efficiency. We'll talk about those. We'll talk about setting up project settings for the particular projects that we're working on. We'll talk about shortcuts. Now, shortcuts can save you, according to another study, one hour out of every eight. We're saving time here. Now, we're going to talk about also creating and saving Premiere Elements projects. So we have something to come back to the next day, I guess. Now, I've said this before, you're only as good as your materials. So we're going to talk about capturing media from tape. Now, that's getting to be a little bit long in the tooth, but I still get clients that have tapes. So we'll talk about how we capture from tapes. We'll talk about capturing from a camera, which is efficient. We'll talk about importing the files from disk, and we'll deal with missing material. It's possible you move the material. I'll show you how you find it again. We'll talk about editing. You can make or break a good video production in editing. Now, you have to have good video. I understand that. You have to have good actors, I guess, and good audio and everything else. But if you edit it wrong, it's not going to work, is it? So we're going to talk about viewing and editing with the video monitor. We're going to talk about quick versus the expert views. But there's a new view now called Guided in 12. It's kind of like a how-to. It's, oh, you want to do that? Well, let me give you the steps on doing that. And we'll get into basic editing techniques. Next, how about some color correction basics? Let's talk about working automatically and working manually and working with exposure. And finally, getting into a new feature in 12, smart toning. We're going to get that color looking exactly the way we want it to be. We're going to talk about effects, of course. In effects, we're going to start with smart fix. I'm not sure what I need to do. Help me out. We're going to add and modify effects. We'll use presets. And a new feature I absolutely love effects adjustment layers, which makes NLE, which is nonlinear editing, totally non-destructive, which means I can go in, I can do anything I want to a project, I can come back a week later and just take it all away. Non-destructive editing, I love that. How about some audio? Let's talk about adding audio, which is pretty simple. We're going to talk about creating a narration. The most important thing about a narration is a good microphone. We're going to talk about using smart sound. I love this feature. It's been in Premiere, Premiere Pro, for years, and we finally now have it inside of Elements. It allows us to create these really nice soundtracks based on the length of our videos. We're going to talk about a new feature, musical scores, and they have added more sound effects in 12. Next, how about working with transitions and other effects? Now, there are two basic kind of transitions. One where something slowly changes from one thing to another, and another where it's a quick cut, boom, one thing to another. I don't think that one, the latter one, is used enough, to be honest with you. But we're going to talk about working with motion graphics. We'll talk about time remapping. In other words, slowing something down or speeding it up for effect. We'll pan and zoom. Your client shot the video. He put it on a tripod. The camera never moved, and you're going, man, this is getting kind of boring. I wish he had panned around a little bit, or I wish he had zoomed in. We'll talk about how you can do that after the fact, adding and editing the transitions themselves, and then we'll move right into adding titles and credits. Now, we've got soundtracks we can work with. We can work with basic text. We can create titles. We can do rolling credits, just like the big guys do in all the major studios. We're going to go through all of that. We'll look at additional features like smart trimming, Motion tracking, which is a new feature in 12, is awesome. It allows you to select a portion of the video and follow it as it moves through the scene. We'll talk about video merging, creating alpha channel masks for transparency, and even doing some white screen. Now, you'd be surprised how easy that is. If you've got a nice white bed sheet and a lot of light, you can probably pull it off. 
Finally, we'll get into post-production output. We'll create markers that we can then use by generating a DVD menu and exporting, say, to DVD and a new thing, web DVD. And finally, additional output options that will take this video wherever you want it to be, from here to YouTube. All that and more coming up. So I'll tell you what, let's get started. What do you say?